presuming people who get to watch this know fuck all about punk or fuck all about what's going on. How would you explain that to them? What, the event? What it's about? The entire, yeah, the yeah, entire. Yeah, well, basically it's, it's the idea was to put together a, uh, you know, a three-day festival, getting bands, bands back together, haven't done it for years, to get with the bands that are still going and doing the pubs and the clubs and stuff, and putting it all together and get people from all over the world and, you know, basically a big party, really, you know. What, what inspired the idea? Um, well, I've done loads of one-dayers and just basically an extension of that, really, you know, it's, uh, you know, three days better than one day's really, you know. <laughs> right, so, uh, again, how did you get in touch with a lot of the older bands? Well, basically, you know, all the bands, like, have got CDs out of, um, of all their old stuff. And, and basically just getting in touch with them and, and getting phone numbers and there's various people supplied numbers. And basically, you know, just got on the phone and tried, you know what I mean? And, uh, got a few uh, successes, you know. Was it our job to track them all down? Not, not that difficult, no. Yeah, there's a few I never got numbers for, but uh, generally quite easy to uh, track numbers down. Yeah, it's quite easy, really. So how do you feel about the general atmosphere over, you know, we're on Sunday now? Yeah, last it's brilliant, and especially Saturday was the only atmosphere was brilliant. You know. Friday was a bit, uh, people were just getting their feet, finding their feet, I think, you know, but uh, Saturday was great, yeah, so it was a good atmosphere. Yeah. Okay. So it was good for them, so I'll tell you. So, uh, did... Without going into personal details about bands, uh, yeah. was there anyone who was a little bit awkward to deal with? Any bands? What they've played? <clears throat> uh, bands they've played? Yeah. Awkward. Who? No, not so far anyway, no. No, no nothing, uh, nothing major anyway, no. No, no not at all. Cheers, <laughs> Carl. So, looking on punk in general, do you think that punk actually changed anything? Um. Pressing question, is it? <laughs> <laughs> It'll have to be that pressing. <laughs> More simple than. I'm not going to use that answer. Well, so what do, uh, what did, did it actually change anything? Whether it's attitudes, uh, music? I, th I think, yeah, certain areas of punk did. I mean, I think the sort of the, the crass scene certainly was like really sort of uh, influential onto people, I think. Um, I mean, I wasn't around in you know, 76, 77, I was too young, so it's hard to say what it was really like then. Uh, basically, I was at school when I was uh, eight years old or whatever. You know? <laughs> Drawing a club. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, uh, but at the end of the day, I, th I think possibly, in some ways, I wouldn't be doing what I've done, what I'm doing, if it weren't for punk, really, yeah. Not that just because I've punk gigs on, but because of, you know, it's sort of, get up and do it sort of thing, you know, it's sort of, uh, Basically, give everyone a chance to do something, you know, for themselves, sort of thing, you know. Think. So, how did you get involved with what you're doing now? Um, well, I don't know, really. That's, that's, that's a long question, really. Um, it just sort of happened, really. I mean, um, I mean, it started off really by, um, by basically me putting bands on in, in, a, in, a, in pubs who I wanted to see myself. Um, I live near Birmingham. And, a lot of the bands I wanted to see didn't play Birmingham, so uh, basically, it was basically just almost to put them on, um, see them. You know, it was, it was never a money in, in, intentional thing. It was just, just really that really that was the main thing. Really, yeah. it, it, initially, anyway, yeah. and it just grew from there. Really, it just grew from there. I still do it. You know, I still do gigs I like. You know, what I mean, I mean. Uh, Feels I'm part of the audience as well as the promoter. You know? How does that compare from the when you first started to you know an event like this? Well, totally different. I mean, you know, you just gig like they turn up and you know bands would turn up. You wouldn't have things like guest lists and passes and beer and free beer and things like that. Just basically, you know, bands would get up and you know you pay them if you could. You know what I mean? There's you now obviously set fees, agents. And you got everything's got to be right. You know, passes. And, Dressing rooms. You know, when I started, you, you know, you wouldn't have dressing rooms in venues. You know, there's no such thing. But just, you know, basically, they, you know, just become part of the crowd when they weren't on. You know what I mean? That's the difference. You know. Okay. So, uh, how have you felt organising, keeping it, keeping things running? Very stressful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very stressful. Yeah, looking forward to tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, what have you been doing, actually, for the last two days? Well, I mean, you just basically get, constantly get people just coming to you and asking you little questions and you've got to, you know, keep an eye on everything, you know, you're keeping on the door and 
to find money for people and their beer. And, uh, we've got a good crew and you know, they do most of the jobs. And, uh, it's just, I don't know, people just find you, find you things to do. You know? I've already had them into myself. Really. I like interviews. Might do some break for you, eh? Yeah, that's what it is, really. All right, so how would you, in as few words as possible, what does punk mean to you? What does it mean to me? Um, that's good music, mostly good people. Nine out of ten or people. Uh, good fun, uh, you know, mostly good time gigs, you know, I and mean, I'll actually go to gigs, punk gigs, uh, just to see, you know, the bands I like. Uh, and also, you know, punk to basically as well. Some of my favourite bands, basically the punk bands, you know. Yeah. Okay. So, anything else you'd like to mention? Uh, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you may not want to answer this, but it would be nice. Uh, how much money did this cost to put on? Um, the total costs were about 100 grand. So, quite a lot of money. Which is why the door price is high for people are wondering why it's 49 quid. Then. It's a lot of money to pay, yeah. Pound a band, though. That's it, exactly, yeah. yeah. Which is good. I mean, then they you pay. If you go out and see, you know, any one of these bands, you'll pay, you know, five to ten pounds just for that, you know. So, yeah, pound a band, basically, yeah. And how much you stand to gain out of it? Um, well, nothing at the moment. <laughs> Are you worried about that? Um, not really, no. I mean, it's, 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 I think it's, you know, basically, well, it's about going to break even, I think, just about, you know, just about. There's been no holes in Barbados, so. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, it's great. Good.